Namaste Jemani, welcome to my channel Lashakum Magical and welcome to your monthly forecast of the month of April. This is a general reading, please keep in mind it may or may not resonate with every single one of you watching. So take only what does resonate with you, leave the rest behind. If it's not your message, it is a message for somebody else. Um, even though I'm reading for April, whenever you watch the video, the messages may find you and may resonate with you because time is an illusion, time is fluid and we all experience time differently, let's that keep in mind as well. And you know, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, Gemini. So let's have a look into what April has to share with you, Jumani, four messages. I will be clarifying those as I usually do. Um, if you have not, please do like, share, and subscribe. If you enjoy and like my energy, of course, no pressure. If you find yourself that you do resonate with this reading, Jumani, there is an extended version where... Um, I'm going to clarify the clarifications, dive even more deeper into the story for you to have more clarity and information that you need, that you maybe seek to hear and to know. Um, and I will be also going um, to have a look into some other messages for the decks, from the decks I use, excuse me. Um, so yeah, it will be in the description box for you to find it. So Jemani, let's see. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you are new, special welcome to you. I hope you won't be new until my next upload. Uh, anyway, thank you for stopping by and for viewing English Room and Magical. And for those of you who are coming back, Jemani, lovely Jemani, thank you very, very much for your appreciation, giving me support, giving the channel support, being a part of the family and community um, from the bottom of my heart to the bottom of your hearts. I appreciate it. So, Jemani, at the bottom of the deck for you, the energy that is surrounding you in the month of April is a big one. It is a major arcana number of 10, the Wheel of Fortune. You are going through a change. You are going to transformation is what I'm picking up with this one. You know, managing to balance your polarities, managing to balance your energies that um, you may be surrounded with and maybe you are feeling a lot at, at this period of time and you may be feeling a lot in in the uh, you know during the april um change change turning for the good turning for your highest good turning for your greatest potential so universe universe is definitely supporting you uh, when it comes to your messages, we have the devil, another major arcana number of 15, Capricorn energy with this one. Um, I feel like a lot of you actually experiencing the change and transformation. What I felt with that intuitively is, um, you know, you actually facing in the month of April some of your lower self-esteem and lower vibes, some obstacles, problems, issues obsessions possessions maybe even addictions for some of you you know take it how it resonates you know it's going to be a bit different for every one of you so apply it to your situation uh but yeah both of them major arcanas i feel like for those of you who resonate with this reading uh this is going to be a very important message for you the next one we have the page of one some fire energy coming through aries leo and sagittarius some of you may be having some fire in your charts uh but i feel like you you know you facing that lower self-esteem and lower vibes of yourself um you are actually reaching to create something new we have a page of wands with this one so in the month of april you're really going to step into some creation of a new chapter after um after being transformed and after going through a change the wheel of fortune is turning into your favor so uh this needs to happen you need to face some things before you enter um, 
into the new creation of uh, maybe a whole yourself, another you, um, in another words, a new you uh, that you are getting to create. And with that occasion, you know, closing cycle, closing cycle, um, <laughs> closing cycle as well, you know, um, and being being able to, to um, create something new whatever it may be for you. Uh, maybe some of you are switching jobs, uh, making a big step towards your career, changing uh, your home environment, changing your society, changing uh, the relationship, you know, whatever it may be for you. Next to it, we have three of cups. Water element energy, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Um, some of you may be dealing with a water sign or you have a water sign in your surrounding. Um, Three of Cups talks about multiple people and energies working together. So if this is a project uh, that you are starting a new project, it may turn successfully with the Three of Cups because it is that energy of coming together, making something happen together, uh, being um being in a teamwork you know um if this is a connection for some of you i feel like you are letting go some of the past experiences past person who maybe was toxic for you jemani and you are finally able in the month of april to create a new page a new reality for yourself uh maybe there were some third parties involved as well um Maybe that's why you decided also to, to move along and move towards yourself. Uh, again, you have the wheel of fortune turning into your favor, and that is big. And underneath that, I feel like I have to show you, we have the two wands. So maybe a lot of you, you were dealing with the fire sign, or again, um, having a page of wands as well in your reading. Some of you really do have some Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in your natal chart. <coughs> Um, you are holding into something and the past was still there, but I feel like you're releasing the past with the page of wands and you know, it's the message being underneath the wheel of fortune. Uh, I feel like a change is definitely happening for you. This, what you are holding to Gemini, this is actually that devil energy. It may even be the energy of your past person. I will get to see that. Uh, when I step into the clarification, which I will do in a second, uh, to the end of your row here, Jemini, you have the Hermit, you have the Virgo energy, another major arcana appearing in your reading number of nine. So nine may be significant for some of you. Um, the Hermit talks about time to rest, time to go within, time to preserve and observe time to manifest as well this is the energy where you take a time for yourself so i feel like if you left the connection because maybe somebody was way too toxic for you you decided to move into a new page you want and create um, again new stability and create uh, what you want for yourself um, maybe you figured out there were multiple people and energies involved into the connection and you just decided to go, you know, take some time off and pay attention more to you and your energy. So um, let's do some clarifications for you, Jemani. Let's see about that devil, what the devil is actually representing in this reading for you. Jemini, uh, if you wish a personal reading with me, you can uh, check the description box also as well. Um, I would love to have you and um, yeah, you will get the information that you need there and um, we can make it happen definitely. So let's have a look about that devil. This one wanted to come through the new vision. And integration yeah at the bottom of that we have transformation so um, underneath transformation is rebirth um, it's funny because I get two stories so this may really be um, your energy that you are facing some obstacles and 
uh, as I was saying, obsessions, possessions, addictions, issues, problems. Uh, this may be something from your young age, from your childhood. Uh, and this will be for those of you who are already in a connection, in a relationship. Uh, change. Change. Transformation. Rebirth. Um, uh, we have a new vision. Yeah. Intuition speaking to you and saying, uh, this is not going to last long. This is not going, uh, you're not going to succeed in the energy of these. So you get to uh, create a new vision and ability to see a new vision. Intuition is talking to you and you are stepping into the integration again, balancing the polarities of the good and the bad, or at least sad. Uh, the good and the less bad, the good and the ugly. Uh, that is almost the same message with integration, you know, yin and yang, facing the polarities, balance, balance. It is about balance. Uh, should this be another person? Uh, this goes, you know, messages can be vice versa. Please keep that in mind as well. Uh, so even if I maybe speak as it would be your energy, it may be the energy of this person. Uh, so if this is a per if this is the energy of the person, I feel like it is definitely somebody who were toxic for you, uh, and you realize that, and you just decided to move along. But I feel like this person is also uh, going through a change and transformation, rebirth, as we were seeing as well, um, because they they get to see that it's not serving them, it's not going well for their health, for style of living you know whatever you may be so yeah again it may be your energy uh or the energy of somebody you were dealing with Jemani, whoever it may be these are the messages that are coming through that this person um, should know should be aware of so it's turning good it's turning good. It's turning for the better. I feel like with those issues and problems, you know, having that lower vibe of, of self, uh, sometimes you need that. You need to go into the dirt just to figure it out, okay, I'm not feeling comfortable. I need to grow. I need to change my environment for, for my highest good and for my health. So... Whoever this energy is, this person is definitely feeling it and is going towards transformation, rebirth and change. So let's see about the page of wands. We have the message of receiving and exhaustion. Um, you are getting out, being in the energy of the page of wands. You are getting out of the exhaustion because you are on your way to create something new. To make it happen very passionate about it about that new start and you are finally uh what i'm getting for some of you uh you're finally being able to receive because because you get the integration you get the balance with the wheel, wheel of fortune happening for you in the month of april Germany, you're also getting the balance and the universe is just saying okay now you're ready now you are ready to receive and get out of this sucker energy and at the bottom of the deck, we have maturity, which is telling me now you, it's almost like universe is telling you, now you are mature enough. Now you are ready to be open to receive. So page of wands is happening for you, which is beautiful. Which is beautiful, Germani. I love this for you. Let's move along. Let's move along, my dear, into the three of cups. Yeah, yeah. Message wanted to go in the reverse, exactly, outsider, no more. No more pain, no more pain, no more pain, messing with my life, no more trauma in my life, yeah. If you felt like outsider, if this person made you feel like you're outsider, if they ghosted you, you know, put you on a side. I'm about to, to clarify Three of Cups, by the way. 
if you felt like that, you are getting out of that. And that is connected with the message of exhaustion. Just so you know. Okay, let's see. Three of Cups. Yeah. Somebody put you in a third party. So you were about to heal. You are about to heal. That's why your next message is the hermit going within. Taking your time to observe and, you know, just be in the energy of this is the way it is. This has to do with lessons, manifestation and spirituality. That's why the healing is needed. Um, it may... How should I put this? It may um, happen for a longer while, on a longer run, uh, that this person was putting you in a third party. Maybe, you know, a multiple third parties is what I'm picking up. Because we have three of cups and the next one is the major, major kind of hermit under the number of nine. So it will be another three and another three. So this this may this is very significant message. This may be possible for some of you, of course, if you know about it. Um, so yeah, healing is needed definitely for you, Jemani. And uh, yeah, it was it was it was it was taking your last breath, your last energy. Your this person was toxic for you, definitely. It was like a putting a lot of weight on your shoulder. A lot of baggage, a lot of, a lot of weight. So healing is needed, you know. And at the bottom of the deck, we have going deeper within that meditative state message, listening to your intuition, shutting down their voices in your head. You may be overthinking what have happened, the situation, the relationship, but yeah you're coming into the hermit mode probably by mid-april end of april that energy is entering jemini so let's have a look about the hermit by the way this is about your spirituality lessons you need to learn healing that needs to take place we have adventure and um, wheel again wheel of fortune this is meant for you this is meant to find you it's meant for you to go into the hermit mode so you get some clarity, realization, so you get to find yourself back on track again, Jemini. The wheel of fortune, again, happening for your highest good, happening in your favor. And this alone, the hermit, you going into the hermit, you going through a healing, it's an adventure. And after this is done, adventure is awaiting for you. And this is, I feel like, connected with the page of wands, you know, creating a whole new chapter, a whole new experience for yourself. New adventure, Jemini. At the bottom of the deck, we have creator. Exactly. Growth. Spiritual path. Yeah, Jemani, this will be your reading. Thank you very much for viewing Let's Room Magical, giving me support and appreciating what I do here because I really enjoy it. I'm so happy and glad when I hear another person and other people enjoy it as well. So yeah, um, I hope this one was helpful. I will see you in Extended. Uh, of course, if you do resonate with the reading. So a um, lot of blessings. And um, take care.